Okay, we're gonna take a little break from the To Do MVC app because it doesn't actually call out to the network for any data. So we're gonna actually look at a live website, which you might know of called Yelp. Okay, let's look at the network panel. So I'm gonna bring up DevTools. And right now I have the network panel open and I actually don't see anything in here and that's because I need to reload the page for it to record the network calls. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that happen. And as you can see, it's building out a little time, timeline here with all the items that are happening. And then if I make this a little bit larger, we can see all of the different assets that are being loaded. So here's the JPEGs and all sorts of other stuff that actually has to come over the network. So what is this useful for? Number one, it helps give you an idea of the different items that are being loaded. But number two, it's especially good if you want to inspect Ajax network requests. So what's that? If I actually press this sort by XHR, it'll show me only the requests for data down here. So as you can see, it calls this API that's called search availability and it responds with this data about the amount of reservations that are available. So one other cool thing about this is this will continue to record when I make a change on the page that does a call out to the network. So let's see that. I'm going to click this. Bring up the dev tools again because they got lost. As you can see, it called search availability again with a different set of parameters. So this is great for trying to figure out how you're interacting with the back end of your website. Those were the basics of how you use the network panel to look at the different network requests that are happening on your page.